Hey guys, what's up? It's FPO5 from FPO5 Studios, and today I'm showing you guys how to use the FPO5's Minecraft launcher. Now today I went through and upgraded stuff, so I'm going to try to get out a new link as soon as possible. So when you download it, it will come in a RAR format, so you will have to have WinRAR, which is free to use. So you go in, you click on stuff, and there are four things here. The first thing is the README, which tells you how to do everything, and it's very simple. The other thing is the Visual Basic Power Pack setup and the .NET FX45. So all you need to do is run those two items and go through and install everything that you need. Which is pretty much just click on it, click next until you hit finish. Now, once that all gets done, you'll be able to drag the new launcher off to the side. Now the launcher is going to have a new updated face. It's going to have this. It was a little bit different before. But now we've updated it to, to make, a, make it look a little bit better. So we're going to click that. And I'm going to click that and mute that. That's a new feature right there. Um, I removed the button that was over here and that looked ugly. This still looks ugly, but um, does look a bit nicer than the other one. Now, to get started, there are a couple different things you need to know. Up here are socials. Up in the um, top right hand corner. The um, down here in the newsletter area, there's a whole bunch of stuff, and usually I will um, leave links to the YouTube, my website, and the downloads of the launchers. And when there's a new, I will add the new launcher down there below as well. And um, we also hit 100,000 plays um, like last month, so I made sure to include that. And if you want to check that out, that's what's actually playing when you open up the launcher. Now, to get started, you have to go in and click Add User. Now, the next thing you do is you name your whatever this thing is going to be called. I'll just name it Goof, whatever. Now, if you want to do it online, you just click that. You'll click your version, which is the latest. And you can actually get the development versions. So you can do all these um, special pieces right there. But for now, I'll leave those turned off and let you guys to figure those out yourself. Now you can check out the other files in Java and stuff like that. You can turn up the RAM, which is really nice. You can decide to display the command prompt or not. Won't really matter. CPO priority, you can change this to make it look better. And of course, you can have a delete everything you need just in the delete files. Now, once you finish that for an online player, you just click OK. And then you'll be able to go down here, you'll click your username and password, and hit OK. And then hit log in, and it should launch up right away. Now, to delete, you click that. And to change the settings, you click the top thing. But we're going to make an offline player. So you have to go in, you name your player. We'll name him Bob to start out with. And once you do that, you just click log in. And it just runs right away. And we'll start up a world so I can show you that he is named Bob and that this does work because amazingly it does. I guess I got a world here, so I'm going to use that one. Come on, any second now, any second now, any second now. I haven't loaded this world in a long time. And as you can see, he obviously doesn't have any skin because he is an offline player. We'll say, hi, I'm Bob. And there it is. Bob is on the server. Now, if you guys want to learn more on how to use the fpo 5s launcher, make sure to leave a comment below and ask me any questions that you have. Obviously, you can change the settings. You can change the background image, but I suggest using... The images that we give you, update URL, uh, that won't matter, version number, that's wrong, obviously none of that really matters, but if you want to check out some more awesome stuff, turn the music off for us, um, as you can see it's version 1.7, if you want to leave a comment about bugs and stuff, make sure to click the about button, and leave the version number below, and obviously... We've added the news feed, which we remodeled, the changing of the logo pick, um, changed the social buttons, 
um, updated the GUI by moving the sound cloud buttons and new download page, which is actually right there in the newsfeed itself. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been FPO5 from FPO5 Studios, and I will see you guys soon for some more Minecraft. Uh, don't forget to take your head and just drag it up there. See you guys later. Bye.